What's up, my friends? Welcome back to our blind Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Here we are with Geralt and Johnny. We are here in the swamps. We need to head to the village here and follow Johnny and see if we can talk to the Grand more about Siri. Before we head out, let's look at the journal, see if anything updated. And I would actually like to read about this godling that we have here. So nothing did update at all. Just follow Johnny to the swamp village. Let's look at the glossary. Maybe let's check out bestiaries first. First ones? Definitely not cursed ones. He's not a beast. Hybrid? Not in hybrids. Necrophage? Relics, right here. Godling. Not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were... Chock full of guardian spirits today, it's nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie, bucka, or luton, and godlings. They are always the first to go, such is the price we pay for civilization, forward march. From the preference to the world we have lost by Professor Dorgaray. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for luton, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered hollow stumps. On the outskirts of human settlements, they are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near the burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence and so delight in the company of children and usually only show themselves to the young. These hardworking and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or castle tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet when the village a godling watches over becomes too populous or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its barrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. So they're like basically guardian spirits here to settlements, friends. They're really peaceful creatures. Kinda, well, it's under relics like Sylvans are. And interesting. It doesn't have anything that we can, you know, they're vulnerable to, so it's good that we're not going to have to actually fight them, because I would not want to fight Johnny. I mean, it's so... I don't know, I just feel like it would be like fighting a kid, friends. That's something I do not want to see. Alright, well, they are very interesting. Let's see if Johnny updated here. When the children of the swamp clearing first told Geralt about Johnny, the Witcher had every reason to suppose no such person actually existed. It was difficult to imagine anyone living in such inhospitable surroundings without quickly becoming food for the drowners or water hag. Geralt thus suspected Johnny was a figment of childish imaginations, an imagery friend for lonely orphans. Long years of experience, however, told him not to ignore any possible leads, so he decided to search the nearby swampland for any additional signs for Johnny. It turned out the orphans were not lying. Johnny really did exist. He was not a human child, but a godling. One of a rare breed of creatures that can be found scattered about the continent's wilderness. Unfortunately, Johnny had lost his voice in circumstances he obviously could not explain, and so neither could he provide much in the way of answers to Geralt's questions. Once Geralt had helped him regain his voice, however, he fucked up a veritable storm, giving the lie to all the tales of these legendary beings' supposed shyness. Johnny also agreed to convince Gran to put Geralt in touch with the Ladies of the Wood. So basically, we need to talk to the Ladies of the Wood to find Ciri. Interesting. And Johnny's gonna convince this old lady. The old hag? Fucking Gran. Gran seems so funny, man. Alright, there is something I wanted to read before we head out because I really just... I'm almost thinking we should probably start really reading these books when we get them, friends, because we are so far behind. And let's see, we still have that. We had this Wild Hunt book since fucking Amir's audience. But the Edge of the World book that we just got in the village seems so interesting. Conjunction of spheres travel between worlds. 
Do it yourself? Care for your sword, soldier. I know we got a book here. Journey to the end of the world. Read for additional information. Well, there we go. We got a bestiary for it. Interesting. We really need... Look, we're 19. One of 19 books to read. We got to read them, friends. Sirens, the harpies, distant relatives are winged monsters found in the Skelly Arpeologio, most frequently on unpopular isles or in the inaccessible coastal areas of populated ones. According to legend, they are daughters of the mystical winged giant Harsvog, who lives on the edge of the world and births gales with the waving of his wings. Harsvog's daughters seek out the company of giants and often make their nests near their lairs. These creatures attack boats and ships from the air, tearing sails and rigging to shreds and rendering the vessel immobile. At times they will snatch men or cattle from the deck and drop them from great heights to their death. They also attack travelers trekking across isolated breaches. Interesting. Is there anything else? Slaughter of Sintra? Hold on, let's read the Wild Hunt book. From farmers and herdsmen, milkmaids and midwives, all the common folk of the continent whisper, sharing tales of a wraithly procession pounding across the sky. The Wild Hunt, they call it, winds and gales, storms and blizzards arise when it is sighted and all grows cold. Though the sun shone bright moments before, some remember only the cold from the shock of the encounter. And Claim the riders come always in winter, but nay, it is not so. The hunt brings its own ice. Death and war gallop in its wake, or so the superstition goes, yet evil enough is the hunt itself. It takes folk captive youngs, most often in the prime of their wilding years. With 10 to 20 summers behind them, the hunt rushes in. They disappear only to return years later with no memory of what passed in the time between. So the time rolls different in the NL world, friends. So when they take them to the world and then I guess they get out of that world and come back, it's fucking, they're probably, their children are probably old. All right, so we got a good deal of stuff. Let's go ahead and follow Johnny here. We will definitely tackle more. We need to make it a point to tackle more at the end of episodes. Because we have really fallen behind a bit too much. And like I said, the game is so, it's so much fun and so good that I just don't want to stop. I want to keep on doing content. Come on, Hags. Get in here. Oh, you pissed? Eat that. Watch yourself, Johnny. I'm wheeling, buddy. Hey, yeah. That Hag is dead. Is she dead? She's knocked the fuck out. Look at her. She's still down. Stay on that ground again. <laughs> Who ya, Haggis? What's up? Come on. Easy fucking peasy. What's up, Johnny? Where are we going, man? 33 thieves thought they threw the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> 33 thieves thought they threw the throne throughout Thursday. You can say it. I can say it. We can do it. You guys say it real fast. Three times. Backwards, spinning around, doing cartwheels. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! But Spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tail. Yo, it got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Geralt of Rivia's here. Ashen-haired woman, you seen her? 
Lead me to the crones, ashen haired woman. Tell me. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll question me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Alright, Johnny! I'm gonna bother him, friends, even during potty time. <laughs> Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you, a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? They speak through you. But they're not really... Are they spirits or something? They speak through you. Oh my goodness, it's giving me chills here. This is creepy. Come on, let's get out of here. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? Oh my, not how I imagined. I mean, it isn't. I honestly imagine walking into the village here and we would see these witches. Or not even the village, just... I don't know. I don't know what I expected, friends, to be honest with you. So you're the three crowns? Crowns? When you get such an ugly word, young man. Village bitches have been gossiping again. There's no limit to how jealous and petty humans can be. Do we look like crones to you? Go ahead, check. Touch me, white-haired one, where it pleases you most. Oh my goodness. Touch me, white hair? Go fondle the fucking tapestry, Geralt? Oh my goodness. Is it my imagination, or is this tapestry made of hair? Oh, he's got a sensitive touch. Touch me more, boy. Touch me more. Where do you get human hair? Never heard of the cutting. Round here, a young boy turns into a man when they cut his hair for the first time. Our sister weaves tapestries of this cut hair. If the weft is straight, happy's the fate. What if the weft's crooked? Then it must be unraveled. Oh my word! <laughs> Creepy! Geralt, pull your swords out, man. Kill it! Get it out of here. Is this a curse? You trapped in the tapestry? We don't fall victim to curses. We cast them. <laughs> I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps 
she only likes ashen head girls. She's like a daughter to me, well, obviously. I don't really think these ladies are going to help, friends. Perhaps he only likes ashen hair girls? The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dark evil is around Down Warren. Talk to the alderman, he'll tell us more. Interesting. So, tit for tat, you do this for us and we'll tell you about Siri. Why do I have a feeling we're bargaining our soul away here, friends? Did this seem so... Like, I don't know if I even want these ladies' help. They seem so... Dangerous? Dark? Why do you need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one. Return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. I'm starting to feel bad for a grand, friends. I don't think she's here willingly for some reason. I just got this feeling like these ladies are holding her here or something. This all seems... strange. It seems like something is going on here. You all right, Gran? You just went through some shit. You ought not to be here. I know, right? Let's get the fuck out of here. Which is not quite the devil they thought an evening with a vampire. Witchers, not quite the devils you thought. And then... What was the other one? Oh, I didn't... Hold on, man. An evening with a vampire sounds interesting, friends. I bet you it will update for vampires. Let's see. My evening with a vampire. Let's read that one first. I knew it. You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat, and a madman. You will shake your head in pity and 
snort in disbelief, but I promise you, I swear on all the gods, everything which you shall read in this passage to follow is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I met a vampire of which I write years ago in an inn in Buclair. He introduced himself to me as Regis. Hell yes. We got Regis and said he was a barber and a medic. Since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man, I might never have even suspected his true nature. Had not a fire broken out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which we were residing, this Regis, if that truly was his name, stood completely untouched by the flames, whereas my own clothing quickly caught fire. The vampire carried me out of the burning inn, saving my life from certain death, then treated my numerous wounds. At first, Regis refused to answer my query as to how he had miraculously survived the furnace-like temperatures inside the burning inn without so much a scratch on his body or hair singe on his head. Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world who would not jump too hastily judgment based on appearance or species and revealed his identity along with a great number of highly interesting facts. According to Regis, not all vampires are alike. This vast family contains both mindless catacans, flutters, and ekamoras, who in form resemble overgrown bats far more than humans, as well as alps and bruxa, who look remarkably like comely maids. In addition to these, there are even more powerful higher vampires, to which genus belong my unexpected acquaintance. Not even a witcher can discern a higher vampire from a mortal man. Contrary to popular belief, they cannot be killed by pounding aspen stakes into their chest, nor by cutting off their heads, nor, as I can vouch for, based on personal experience, by fire. They do not fear running water, garlic, and symbols of any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire's bite does not turn a human into their number. They do not in any way need our blood in order to survive to them it's merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time like men do with fine wine regis asked me to keep his tale to myself but now as i lay on my deathbed i feel that i must share this secret knowledge even if it means breaking my word to the most noble individual well vampires is such an interesting one especially like the breeding of other vampires most of us know or just the knowledge of past games, movies, like or whatever it is, that if you get bit by a vampire, you turn into a vampire. Well, in the world of Witcher, that is definitely not the thing, friends. We just tried to explain it to Geralt, and it was more akin to, it was kind of hard to understand for me, but it's more akin to basically a vampire and another vampire doing the normal, you know, birds and the bees thing, friends, and they have a kid, pretty much, and it's a vampire kid. You know, that's kind of how it is. You know, it may be more to it, but I just, when Regis was explaining it to Geralt, it kind of, it kind of just was a little bit hard to understand in general. But to my knowledge, that's about how you be can become a vampire. So if you got to think that if vampires went around just biting everyone, friends, everybody on this damn continent would probably be a vampire by now because vampires you know, it would just keep affecting and building their numbers up. So that's not how it works. And that's why vampires are so kind of, you know, not as numerous as probably they, you would think they would be. But I don't think that's just it, them just doing their thing and having a kid. I think it's more to it. But like I said, it was something that I kind of just really had a hard time understanding. And then the whole thing with Regis, Regis was pretty much immune to fire, friends. He was indeed, and it was interesting because at the end of the the books, Regis, Vilgefortz killed Regis, and, well, by fire, in a sense. So, it was all very interesting, the whole thing with Regis, but is Regis really dead? I, you know, beg to differ because vampires technically can, re, you know, recuperate and come back to life millenniums later, years later. So, it could happen. The Conjunction of Spears. I guess we should read this while we're here. Scholars have many vices possible. The worst among them is a tendency to describe the simple in unnecessarily complex terms. To dress the plane in the garb of false learning. The Conjunction of Spears might serve as an excellent example of this. 
The name so mysterious to a commoner's ear could be replaced with a much more simpler alteration. When the worlds collided, the phenomenon itself can also be explained in terms simple enough for a child to understand. Imagine, dear reader, that our world is a ship sailing on a great sea. From its deck, we can see other distant vessels. Those are the stars. These vessels each bear their own goods of their own crews. They usually pass at some distance, barely visible specks even viewed through a spyglass once every few thousand years however a storm breaks above this cosmic sea a storm so strong it tosses the ship towards another making them sail cheek by jowl part of the crew of one ship at such times move to the other and some of the cargo from one ship can still onto the neighboring vessel when the weather calms the ship separate once again and sail their separate invariability different ways. The so-called post-conjunction beings, namely monsters such as ghouls and basilisks, are precisely such passengers from another vessel, and we humans are castaways flung against our will from somewhere far away onto a world previously inhabited by the elder races. Once here, we learn the arcane mysteries of magic unbeknownst to us before, could the worlds collide once more? Perhaps can this cataclysm be avoided or the opposite hastened? Some scholars believe there are beings who have mastered this skill, who possess rare genes, allow which some to seize the helm of a vessel and steer us to safer waters or to our doom. All right, well, that will be that. Let's go ahead and hire your vampires. Oh, I would love to see some higher vampires, friends. I would fucking love it. Anything else? Grand, there's so much stuff here. You mind? Oh, friends, look at this. We got a secret passage or something. We're going down here. And Grand can't stop us. We just drop down. Might break our legs. Don't break your legs, Geralt. Oh. No, no, don't go up there, man. We gotta explore whatever the hell's down here. Is this like cages? Small cages, friends? It's like torture stuff here. Is this small cages for kids? They're going? And there's like torture racks here. Oh my word. I don't know, friends. I think these crones are doing something to these kids that come down here. I think I have a feeling I know what it is. I think I'm getting the hocus pocus feel here. These crones are... unnaturally prolonging their lives with children. Is that what's going on here? Is this a throwback to the hocus pocus fucking famous movie? Oh my word, friends. I'm telling you, that's what it is. They're sacrificing these children. Somehow. I just have a feeling. And this Gran is like taking... I guarantee... Here it is, here it is. I guarantee this Gran is here forcefully. Against her will. And she's taking care of the children. Until these ladies... Want them? I guess? To extend their unnatural lives this is just how i feel but this grand i don't feel like she's here willingly maybe she's here trying to help the kids you know what i mean how the fuck do i get out of this creepy ass place where's the ladder oh there it is but maybe this grand's taking care of them until the until the ladies are ready or until the child is ready to be i guess devoured and their unnatural lives can go longer but they're inside a tapestry are they even real i wonder motherfucker burn hair that tapestry's up in flames now i didn't do nothing ah! <laughs> grand got scared as hell all right let's head to down warren friends what's up kids you guys good uh, a fighter. where's johnny did Johnny leave? Do you know where's to be found? I would like to talk to him again. 
But I don't exactly know where we would be able to find Johnny. Can't remember where his burrow is. Johnny, what's going on here, man? I'm telling you, friends, that's what's going on. Has to be. And they said the crones know everything. They hear everything. Oh. All right. There's an ancient evil. Hold on. Talk to the aldermen of Down Warren about this village problem. All right. Let's go up here and talk to the aldermen. There's some kind of ancient evil going on here. Maybe some kind of curse. But they, they said they cast curses and they can't deal with it. Excuse me, lady. Is there anything updated in here? Still nothing. Thought the alderman of Down Warren about the village problem. Hey, man. Greetings. Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by all right? Why, oh, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, oh, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. <laughs> I don't belong to anyone. Glad we only see each other. I don't belong to anyone. Yeah, we don't belong to anyone, man. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Didn't we already hear about the Whispering Hillock? We read it in a book, friends. Something about a mother that was tied to something. Maybe tied to a tree in the Whispering Hillock. Or the, the Whispering Hillock is the tree that the mother is actually bound to. It's the ladies, uh, ladies of the woods mother. What was that book's name? She Who Knows or something like that? We read it in... Hetherington. It was about... The crones... Or the... The daughters bounding the evil... Mother. They couldn't kill her, so they bound her spirit to a tree on the Whispering Hillock or something. But that was an evil spirit, friend. So this must be the crones... Mother. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. And definitely more details? Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. 
Well, so we're not going to treat it lightly, friend. Something is definitely going on here. So, the surrounding area is in some serious trouble from whatever this spirit is at the hillock. It's literally causing the whole area. They're even... The children that's even being born are just... He said lame. So... This is some serious stuff. Maybe this spirit is affecting the surrounding area and it will probably honestly get worse. What if it affects all of Velen to where the whole continent or something? Alright, well, find out what's killing villagers from down Warren. Yeah, seems pretty dire, friends. Where is this at? And this is the... Find out what's killing villagers in down Warren. Is there anything updated in the journal here? Still nothing. Alright, well, let's head over to... I guess we can knock this out on the way there. We got all types of shit over here. Let's just knock this out. Boom. And then there. See you later. What's up, Chief? You okay? Oh, man. Hey, girl. No need. I was coming over here to see if you were okay. And now you're talking funny on me. We are pretty pasty. But that goes with our charm. Anything here? What's up, Al Go? Oh, I don't think so, buddy. Come on, sucker. Get over here. See you later. Oh, he has nothing? Oh, there we go. Interesting. Well, we had a bunch of rune, or we had a bunch of mutagens, friends. Now we're kind of gone with that relievers one taken. Hold on. Is there anything else in here? Can we go in these houses? We most certainly can. Oh, did you hear that? Is it a hag? Fucking hag is over there. So don't take this evil lightly, huh? Maybe we should heed some of them words, friends. There are certain things in games that they drop subtle things on you. Like that. I mean, if this spirit or whatever the hell is over here, it has to be. I'm pretty sure that's what I've read. Something about the spirit got bound to a tree. And the Whispering Hillock, or known as the Whispering Hillock. Look at this hag. She is loving life, man. What's up, girl? Damn. How are you? Holy! Level 20 bilge. See ya. Think we can rock her ass? We might be able to. Or maybe not with all the drowners now. Come on, bilge hag. I'm gonna burn your ass. We gotta keep our shields up, friends. Oh my word! Let's just burn her to death. <laughs> Where'd you go? Get over here, Haggis. <laughs> we didn't even have to hit her. Water Hag Mutagen. What's up, girl? You alright? Didn't mean to whoop you up that bad. <laughs> that was fucking badass, friends. What level are we, anyway? She's level 20 and it was a, uh... Well, look at the fog here. She was level 20 and a... And a... Skull. <laughs> hey, man. Another haggis? You alright? Look at her. She's just rolling around, friends. <laughs> Mud pie, just for you, Geralt. Mess up your pretty hair. Geralt actually just got his hair dyed, friends. So yeah, can't hit me. Look at her. Get up here. She is not coming out. Get out. Sit down, Haggis.
Interesting. Superior Insectoid. We are starting to get some superiors, friends. We got one earlier. Now we just got another one. This music is really fucking good. Didn't we just do this one? Let's get back onto the main road here. I don't know if we... Yeah, we just did that one. We'll get back on the main road and try to make it to the Whisper and Hillock area. Damn, girl. Climbing trees, are we? Music is really fucking good. I like it. So we did this already. If we do this, I'm pretty sure we did. I just want to check. Hold on. Let's get Roach out. Make this a little bit easier. What's up, Roach? Run, Roach. I'm pretty sure we just came from there, friends. But let's just... No, we definitely did not come from here. Good thing we checked. Because there could be something good over here. Oh, it's starting to get dreary. Perfect timing for dreariness. A butter knife. Ooh. Never know. Looks we need like to butter rain. some bread. Looks like rain, Geralt. It sure is, friend. How you like that silver? Oh, how you like that silver? It hurts, doesn't it? Holy. Oh, my word. Did you see that? Come on, suckers. Can you hit me? Let's get our movements on, friends. Let's try to get hit here. We got that wyvern decoction on. Come on, suckers. You guys gonna try? I love it. Oh, they hit me. You know, you're majestic, though, man. Good written. I don't think so. No, you get him. Good written drowners. All right, is there just nothing here? Probably just a butter knife, friends. It must have been the best butter knife ever forged. If you ever like want to get your bread buttered, Geralt should be the one to butter it, friends. Because that knife must just give you. The best tasting buttered bread ever. That was literally it. Oh my word. Okay. All right. Come on, Roach. Let's get the hell out of here, girl. Let's head back towards this some way. Move it. Move it, Roach. Move your ass. The wisp. Fang bites. Fang bites. Interesting. How was that, friends? Did you hear that? We can ignite this? Oh no. Come oh, on, girl, do the ritual. Whatever's going on here. That looks like a far drop. Let's not do that. Stay here, Roach. You don't want to come over here, girl. Oh, you're already over here. You hear that? What is that, a dragon? Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Scared the hell out of me. Hold on here. Is it a secondary? The Whispering Hillock. Find where the voice is coming from using your Witcher senses. Something about life in dreary backwoods settlements leads their inhabitants to hide the truth with misleading names. This takes the form of both Hyperbole, a clump of bare trees called Dragon Spike Forest, or a hole in the ground two paces deep named the Chasm of Eternity. 
an understatement. A horrid massacre commonly referred to as the incident. Velen fit the mold in this regard. As Geralt learned while he wandered through in it search of Ciri, there he encountered a trio of highly suspicious magical sisters called the Ladies of the Wood, who directed him to a clump of bogside huts known as Down Warren. Geralt was to solve their problem, a rash of mysterious murders. He spoke to the alderman and learned that the evil power behind the killings dwelt in the Whispering Hillock, wherever else. So this evil power is... Gonna find where the, the voices are coming from, friends. And then we got an evil power here. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Listen, lady, we just want to talk, okay? Claw marks. Wolves. I should look around. We are looking around, Geralt. There's a bunch of dead bodies here, friends. Well, this, whatever it is, is not, is not nice. Come here, Wolfie. Hold on, let's get beastie oil on. Sectoid, beast oil. Let's get necrophage just in case. Come on, beasties. Come on. So you wolf. So fang marks, though. I mean, it could be wolves that's killing these people here. You hear that? Sounds like a heartbeat or something. The entrance. Oh, there's more wolves. Let's keep looking around the area, though. Oh, there's more over here. Get out of here, Wolfie! Hey, man! Goodbye, Wolfie! Time to end this. Fire fucking burns, doesn't it? See ya later! What we have here? Even the women weren't spared. Even the women weren't spared? I mean, everybody's... They're just killing everything over here, friends. Makes me just want to keep looking around. Maybe we'll find more bodies or something? Oh my, do you hear this? It's like a heartbeat. Holy! That sounds bad. Oh, there's more over here. Hmm, kid magic. A place of power. Is a kid? They even killed a kid? Oh, there's a place of power somewhere over here. Come on, girl. That sounds like some kind of big beast. What is that? What's that, friends? Oh, it's a werewolf. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking werewolf. Werewolf was cursed ones, right? Hold on. Put beast oil. Cursed oil. Come here, Wolfie. Man, we can we get down here without dying? Breaking our fucking legs? There you go, girl. Slide down, friend. Rumble? Come on, let's take some stuff here. Thunderbolt. Full moon. Oh, I guess we can't take it. Hey, man. Caught me off guard. Let's go, werewolf. Oh, good hit. Oh, 
Come on, sucker. You want some more? Let's go, sucker. Oh, you calling in friends? Bring them on. Ooh. Oh, that takes take Swallow. Oh, we can't. <laughs> this Quen sign, though. I love the knockback. Look how good the Erden's doing here, friends. Slowing him down. Come on in. Get in here, Wolfie. See ya later. Show yourself. I want to talk. I don't think this spirit is nice, Geralt. There's another dead. Alright, take it easy. You creepy one? Let's see if there's any more bodies about. And then we'll get that place of power and... You hear that? There's more bodies there, but that's the first guy I think we've seen. Man, so anybody that comes over here dies, huh? Even the children. Interesting. I mean, it's terrible, friends, but it makes you wonder that whatever evil is over here is spirit or whatever the hell it is. Must be terrible. Of power. It's gotta be. Ability point. All right. Well, looks like we can probably go. Oh, there's the cave entrance right there. All right. Let's level up, and then we will head into that cave next episode. Obviously. So hold on here. Character. We're level twelve. This is level fifteen. We won't get another point to level 15, friends, and we're only level 12. So let's go ahead and update Ard once more. And then from here, oh, we got protective coding. We could have did protective coding, actually. That's fine. So let's do 13 and protective coding, 14 in protective coding, which will back that one out and then the next one how many points do we have 11 13 we're gonna have to get i really want this fast metabolism one but we're not going to be able to get it right now i'm torn between poison blades and refreshment but refreshment seems like we could probably get away with not doing refreshment you know poison blades Oil applied to blades gives a 3% chance of poisoning the target on each hit. It also buffs our potion duration, obviously. But it's going to do more damage. It's going to poison the targets. So that's ultimately more damage over time. Technically. Alright, well that's something to consider as we go. So we have this spirit. Is anything else did update here at all? Nothing there. And then the Whispering Hillock. Nothing else updated there interesting friends with anything coming to the characters nothing in grand though huh i'm telling you these crones something's going on here friends they're doing they're they're using these kids for some kind of ritual anyways i'm out of here friends take it easy stay safe have a good one and i will see you next time take care